first accident of the day. Cameron dropped his his raincoat, went to stop at the side of the road and decided rather than just to stop, he'd jump off his bike. <laughs> oh sorry dude, that's uh that's quite funny though. Wow. Engine's still running. Cameron's got his raincoat. Good job. Um, no one's injured, I hope. Bike looks okay. So the road conditions today, not as good as they have been. Cameron's just lost the flip-flops out of his basket. And looks like it's gonna be quite slow going compared to yesterday. said mate this is pretty remote cameras from Australia sorry about the accent um, we're in the middle of a jungle on the Burmese border we haven't passed any cars well maybe two in the last hour Just dense jungle. Well, we're about sixty kilometers from Mesa Rien, yeah. up in the mountains. Um, on a tiny tiny jungle road which we thought was a major road and look we spotted elephants working in the fields they're actually pulling logs and helping the rice farmers plant the rice I've never seen that anywhere in Thailand I've only seen elephants that are used for the tourists God man Wow I didn't know they still did it I didn't know they still used elephants to. Uh, what would they use? Look, he's, he's plowing the he's plowing the rice field. Yeah. With the logs yeah. um, behind the elephant. But what else would they use? They use well, they, a, use, they the use the automated oh, machine. Right, machine. They don't use buffaloes anymore. Oh my god. That's magnificent. Man. So it flattens it out and then they plant the rice. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Unless there's um there might be spikes at the bottom of the log, so it's like a plow. Mm-hmm. But oh Jesus. how did you spot that? From the road. <laughs> Could easily no, have gone look. past that man. It must have been through there. Because I thought they were trees, and then I was like, what? <laughs> oh, that's an elephant. Elephant dragging a log through a rice paddy. And soon to be on YouTube. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> well, me and Cameron... <laughs> just survived a harrowing trip through the mountains we thought we were going to be on a nice road it turned out we we're on a dirt track stuck on the top of some of the highest mountains in thailand on the burmese border where people were using elephants to uh, plow the fields so the road like now it's lovely and up there it was absolutely terrible but we're here now, breakfast. We're having noodles, kwai chow, moo, coffee at this little restaurant. And uh, we're going to be so happy to get a warm shower tonight, aren't we? <laughs> Cafe Lon. <laughs> Hot coffee. Soaked to the bone. <laughs> Everything is wet. <laughs> Cold, <laughs> shivering, but we got a hot coffee, so that's cool. <laughs> Cameron and I just arrived. Where are we? <laughs> In 
Tasong Yang. Tiny town, there's no tourists here at all. Halfway between me, Seriang and Dak. Um, pretty tired, four and a half hour ride, but really difficult roads. Um, so we put our laundry in, found a, a room for six pounds a night that we're going to share. And uh, we're just going to have a quiet afternoon in this sleepy Thai town. So, just found a great restaurant um, overlooking Burma. <laughs> and the mountains, incredible. How much was that last night? 60? Seven. They were close last night. <coughs> 60 up there. Yeah, I thought it was 60. So, as always, Cameron and I. Oh, I'm not. Well, yeah, there's beer here. Um, this is our 300 baht a night room. Basic, it's got an en suite. It's, it's uh, six pounds or nine dollars. Um, of course, we've got our own area where we can hang right next to the owner's house. He's an ex policeman um, from Lambang. Got frogs over here, you can hear those. Come on, don't go quiet just because I turn it. <laughs> and we're going to plan the next leg of our journey down to Maysot tomorrow and reminisce over. Old times. Beautiful. Right. Time to go to sleep. Our room, 300 baht. Bathroom. Basic. So I just woke up in a small Thai town, whose name I forget, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, we've got a group of monks collecting arms here. So this is day five and Cameron's in bed again because he doesn't get up as early as me. Um, just started raining so we're not going to set off until that's finished. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Found a nice restaurant next to where I'm staying. Um, oh, breakfast. <laughs> Cap, thank you. Chicken noodles. Quite a nice little house. 